Hey man, it's the greatest 2K player in existence, and we got some fascinating NBA 2K21 current gen news. Six eight point guards, quick draw remove, and so much more gameplay features. This this coming from the top dev himself. So in this video, we're gonna go over every single intricate detail, and I'm I'm going to have an opinion. You know, a lot of a lot of these little 2K news channels, they just tell you what it is and say the popular opinion. I'm actually gonna state things and critique it, you know, because I'm I'm, I'm actually good at 2K and, and I know what would make 2K better, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm not just a regurgitator, my boy. I, IQ God Sensei. So make sure y'all watch this full video. If you wanna be tuned in with, with, with what is most likely gonna happen and make sure you subscribe if you new. 300k on the way if you want the best builds in nba 2k 21 dribble moves all that stuff trendsetter every year sis 14 my boy so make sure you subscribe spam up that like button hit the like button if you're glad quick draw is supposedly gone etc etc so apparently some 2k info was leaked yesterday and then deleted i don't know i guess they want to see our feedback or they just made a mistake i do not know by the way, this is my band Twitter. My my new Twitter has Z Swante. Z in front of it. Make sure y'all uh <laughs> make sure y'all go follow that. But um anywho, it was posted yesterday. This guy says it was posted. I when I go to the actual site, I don't see it. He's saying these are are the leaks, man. So we're gonna go over this. Y'all let me know how you feel about it, man. First, when it comes to badges. Seemed like everybody was a big fan of how we redesigned the badge system last year with the ability to swap badges in and out as you upgrade. I was definitely a fan of that. Y'all let me know if y'all was too. Huge fan of it. I think that's one of the, the best features that they added into NBA 2K21. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. That's returning for NBA 2K21. <laughs> badge, badges leak. Throughout the life of NBA 2K20, we collected telemetry data that gave us detailed breakdowns of what badges people were equipping for certain build types. Oh, I didn't know that, did y'all know? And which ones weren't being used as much. This was very useful in helping us redesign and tune the badges for NBA 2K21. That sounds amazing, I like those. They're, apparently this current gen info, this sound promising. Y'all let me know what this sound like. I think you'll find that more badges will have merit and fight for a spot in your badge loadout. Mm. Giving you more effective tools to take over games in a more varied fashion. I like those, it sound good. It sound good, right? And here's some good news that I know the community will appreciate. We remove quick draw and put release speed back into the jump shot creator. So that's one thing you won't have to waste your precious badge points on. Now, I know a lot of y'all are excited. Drop a like, subscribe if you're excited, blah, blah, blah. But I'm a, I'm the reasonable swan. I am the, the wisest one in this whole goddamn community, my boy. Listen, quick draw was good. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all want the game casual. You just want to shoot easier, bro. Quick draw is good because in a game that allows you to have too many shooting badge points to make shooting so much easier than it really shouldn't be, quick draw made you have less shooting badges. This is damn near the easiest 2K to shoot in. Not when it comes to the contested system, but just shooting overall. Like it's just way too easy to hit greens. So imagine like without, like, like imagine play locks without quick draw. Imagine builds that can't shoot without quick draw and like, they don't have to upgrade the quick draw and all that. I I I don't know. I I don't I don't like it, but I know most of y'all do. I'm I'm not a fan of it, but whatever, bro. It makes y'all happy. Whatever, man. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I don't think this is in order, so we're just gonna read everything this dude posted. Closing thoughts. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to all the gameplay engineers and producers, as well as a talented team at VC South. I don't like any place named VC. <laughs> Who worked and are still working tirelessly to deliver the best basketball game to date. Mm. The current gen versions for NBA 2K21 are a great step forward for virtual hoops. 
and stay tuned for the coming months for all the goodies we have in store for you on the next gen platforms the future is very bright for 2k hey it sound good it sound good every, every everything i just read i like it besides the quick draw because I, there, there has to be a skill gap, my boy. There, 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 there has to be a skill gap, my boy. Uh-oh, motion styles. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and apparently, apparently, hop stepping isn't going to be OP. Even when it was, hop stepping's always been OP. People just haven't been hit. It was even in 19 and all the other 2Ks, even in play now. People just not. Anywho, let's, 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 let's take a look at this, man. Last year, we introduced signature dribble styles. I did not like signature dribble styles. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Um, For some reason, when I use like a random dribble style compared to not using quick, my dribble moves was just way slower. Like I just feel like I was ass. I don't know. It was weird. I did not like it. Um, I don't know. But anywho, uh, which gave Magic Johnson his unique up court waddle. Damn, they saying Magic Johnson out here waddling, Steve Nash's finger lick, and so and much more. This upgrade has now made its way onto the defensive end. Mmm. With signature defensive motion style. Okay, okay. Here's the list of players you can model your players' movement after. Russell Westbrook. Mm. The greatest PG in the league. You know, last decade he's been the greatest PG. Um y'all 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 drop a like if you don't agree with me that westbrook's been the best uh pg in the league for over a decade should have had two mvps y'all let me know drop a like if you don't agree with me oh <laughs> Giannis antica lebron james Kawhi leonard pat beverly andre Iguodala, and draymond green little bum ass team defender not on ball defender <laughs> In addition to this, movement has undergone several refinements, both with the ball and without, to provide a more consistent and responsive feel on the sticks. Oh my God, they gonna make defense responsive? Bro, doesn't this just sound sexy? Everything sounds amazing. Is this a genjutsu? Y'all let me know if there's more um, defensive motion styles, which one you will be picking. You know, I'm going to test it out. I'm going to find the cheese, my boy. You know me. So you need to subscribe if you want the cheese. So I don't know why the hell he don't got. We just going to read this and we, we going to see. I don't know what the the labeling of this is. But um, aiming layups well can help overcome shot contest and help you finish through contact. Now, I, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to read through the logo, my boy. <laughs> Personally, it has been hard for the shot button after getting used to the pro stick shooting. And because shooting with the stick offers a bit more complexity than just holding and releasing a button, it also carries a greater risk slash reward. If you can master shooting with the pro stick, you'll have a higher ceiling for getting greens and making shots. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be the shot method of choice for many competitive 2k players oh we gonna see because they added this basically what they're talking about what it seems like to me um is the right stick you know how you flick it and you had to aim it i think that came in in 17 and it like stopped in uh like after 18 i don't think it was in 19 it wasn't in this year maybe it was no i don't i don't think so uh maybe it just stayed in 17 y'all let me know down in the comments but anywho, it was trash. Um, man, I don't even remember, bro. It was trash because it was hard to angle it, and then you would just miss. Like people tried it and stuff, and it was it was just it wasn't good. Um, I don't like that this feature is coming back because if people are running no meter plus this, and this is like improved and it works. That just means shooting is going to be even easier. I don't like this. Um, Y'all let me know how you feel about it. I'm all about a skill gap. I think that makes the game way more fun and just stops a little corny cheese to where, you know, I, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't too much like this, but um, yeah, that sounds like it could be game breaking, you know, 50 50 <laughs> 
53 ball locks out here shooting at the top of the key, isoing. I don't, I don't know. I don't like those. But anywho, um, like damn, people can have a 99 3 30 shooting badges, speed boost, and get boost from no shot meter, and uh, use aiming their their right stick. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like those. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. On the shooting animation side, you can expect a plethora. Y'all ain't think I know how to pronounce those, did you? <laughs> of new shot types, including Harden's unique one foot running fadeaway. I think they already have them. And a quick note for all the park players, we've added over 40 new park jump shot landings for you to show off when you hit from the outside. I love that. God damn, have we, have we had the same jump shot landings since 14? Like, damn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they, they're tripping. On the defensive end, you can expect a much stronger presence from bigs in the paint. Okay. Block targeting has been improved, so it will be easier to send weak shots back. Okay. I like it. And we've loaded up more coverage for contact in the paint to slow down overpower moves like last year's hop step layup. I like it. We need paint defense. It sound good. It sound good. Paint defense has started to become super overpowered or has been paint defense has started to become super just trash in 2K18, right? So, hopefully they fix it. Man, I I 2K Intel, you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't got this shit in order, my boy. <laughs> I'ma just read it from the top. Whatever, man. If you miss, blah blah blah. Shot will miss in that direction. We'll just read it from here. And as I mentioned above, with the new slider sets, even the slightest degree might be the difference between a make and an air ball on Hall of Fame. You know, agent, agent can't, agent can't handle shooting. He ain't gonna be. You know, he's still using the shot meter. He can't do no shot meter. He can't even do the flick. <laughs> uh, I guarantee you he ain't gonna be able to do those while it's quite a bit more forgiving on easier difficulties you also won't be penalized for using the entire shooting motion to find the sweet spot I don't I don't really know what the hell that means um it sounds like uh you could just hold square what the hell <laughs> In other words, you don't have to time your release when you are shooting with the pro stick. What? What the hell are they talking about? <laughs> this does not sound good. What? But if you want to take it to the next level and know your release, you can lock in your timing and aim by either centering the pro stick or by tapping one of the triggers when you reach the apex of the shot. What are the triggers? The lock-in will be indicated by a brief flash on the meter. If you can time and aim well, you will give yourself the best chances at making the shots. I don't know. This is eh. The aiming concept also applies to finishing layups. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, man, this, if someone airballs a layup, I'm, I'm blocking the report. Replicating the idea of having a good touch around the rim pause <laughs> as you're driving you can still hold the pro stick in any direction to start a layup but this year you'll want to quickly swing the stick pause to move the aiming tick to the center of the target aiming layups well can help overcome shot contest and help you finish through contact okay okay Personally, it has been hard for me to go back to the shot button after getting used to the pro stick shooting. Okay. Okay, we gonna see. Y'all y'all, let me know what, what you're leaning towards using. And if you want the pro stick um, features in the game. I, I, I don't know. And because shooting with the stick offers a bit more complexity than just holding and releasing a button, it also carries a greater risk slash reward. If you can master shooting with the pro stick, you'll have a higher ceiling for getting greens and making tough shots. So I'm pretty sure. What you pretty sure about? Hold on. What the hell? I don't know what the hell he was about to say, but we're going to go on with the screenshots, man. You could choose from a list of 14 park 
and 36 unique NBA size-ups. And when you factor in the one-on-one -on -one size up packages and the new customizable escape dribbles, there's really no limit to the types of combos you could pull off, okay? It sound good, I just hope I'm not stuck in animations. Come on, bring a speed, bring a skill back, skill gap. Speed gap equals skill gap. Stamina gap equals skill gap. I like it, I love it. Y'all let, let me know if that sound promising to y'all. My ISO guys out there, shooting. Dribble moves weren't the only thing that benefited from the pro stick upgrade. Jump shooting and finishing at the rim were points of emphasis as well. We really wanted to make scoring the basketball a skill from the perimeter and at the rim. So we brainstormed and prototyped a number of various shooting mechanics for this year's game. What we settled on was an idea of conceptually <laughs> similar to something we tried in NBA 2K17. Shot stick timing aiming didn't work really well in NBA 2K17 because it was a bit buried. What the hell does that mean? Didn't have much skill built into it and didn't give the user any feedback. You know, what actually happened is people would just miss. Um, they just didn't work. <laughs> We took those learnings and used them to create a better solution this time for NBA 2K21 when you shoot with the pro stick. The shot meter changes from a timing bar to a targeting system. What the hell? So instead of trying to stop the shot meter when you reach the perfect release window, you adjust the pro stick in real time to hit the ideal center aim point. The target window resizes dynamically based on the player's ability, shooting range, and how well the shot contest is contested. And also to the left or the right based on the shot. I don't know what the hell. That, I don't know. It's sounding like they got interested. Uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> how the pro stick works in a nutshell. Hold right stick down, jump shot, hold right stick, escape dribble moves. Whole right stick signature, okay. So tap the right stick. What do you mean? Press it in. Quick one-on-one -on -one dribble moves. Oh, you you know we gonna find the cheesiest ones to get an ankle breaker or the quick speed boost. You feel me? Tap the right stick with sprint held. Quick momentum dribble moves. I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. With this change, we've been able to greatly expand the dribble move arsenal and give you access to more moves in a more intuitive control scheme. After a game or two, it will feel second nature, okay? And will have you breaking ankles in no time. Oh, I like those. You know I like breaking ankles, my boy. Let, let's, I, I hope ankle breaking is, is great again, like 2K17, man. Since they keep limiting stamina. Y'all let me know if y'all want that too. Along with the remap and the moves themselves. <clears throat> along with the remap, the moves themselves have been overhauled to be much more responsive and chainable. Okay, you know, all the dribble gods like that. And I, I like that. Street moves have been removed. Oh, I thought that said removed. <laughs> Damn it. Have been moved to to a tap of the left trigger as well so you won't be firing them off by accident when you when you're breaking down defenders in the park i hope so man y'all let me know if y'all think that that ain't gonna happen and for the nba size up we added several new signatures like harden's around the leg dribble a new version of kobe's dance and durant's patented headsy cross Another NBA legend, Nate Robinson, came in for motion capture this year and gave us some really unique moves that I'll leave for you to find as well. You can also perform size up dribbles on the move by holding the pro stick up and using the left stick. Okay, it sounds cool. It sounds like they added some new things. I like it. I love it. You like it. I love it. Gap for the veteran users to really showcase their talent. One way we set out to accomplish this was through set of sliders and carefully mapping the appropriate settings to all the various modes in our game. So whether it's your first time playing against the CPU in quick play, messing around with your buddies in park, or battling in a high stakes anti up or competitive pro-am match, there's a wide range of gameplay experiences and definitely something for everyone. Okay, stage return. 
Pro-Am return. So to sum up this section, I don't really have a fancy back of the box marketing name for the work that went into the gameplay balance and the fun of fine. Is that, a, is that a new word? The on-court experiences, but I'm pretty confident that longtime fans of 2K basketball will notice the improvements and appreciate what the team was able to accomplish. Okay, we gonna see. The Pro Stick has been a staple of 2K basketball for years now, and for the most part has largely gone unchanged since its inception. For NBA 2K21, we saw this as a big opportunity to freshen up the game on the offensive end. In the past games, you could hold the pro stick in any direction to take a jump shot. That was limiting us from utilizing the right stick as a fully featured dribble stick, okay? So this year we're making a pretty significant, a pretty significant change to how the pro stick works in a nutshell. Okay. It sound good. Dame time. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Boy just dropped 61 points. Hey, man, I don't hate Dame, bro. You know, I, I don't hate Seth Curry. You feel me? I just I just don't like how fans of, of Damian Lillard and Steph Curry, for some reason, they, they just hate on uh, Harden and Westbrook. You know, that's the only reason I ever talk bad, or bad about them. I, I love Damian Lillard. I, I love Stephen Curry, you know, but I just got to point out they flaws since no one would be talking about they flaws. But anywho... Let's get on to this, man. I had the opportunity to jump on a Zoom call with cover athlete Damian Lillard a few months back. He is a huge 2K gamer and had a ton of great feedback and ideas for 2K21. That's cap. But his biggest request, being able to make an oversized PG in my career. What the hell? I, I knew this nigga was toxic. I knew it. <laughs> so for all you Penny Hardaway wannabes, you have Dame to thank for that as we have upped the max height for PG to be 6'8". Six, 6'8", eight. Six, eight gonna be the meta, my boy. 6'8.4 is the meta, y'all let me know. <laughs> Dame continued to share his likes and dislikes of gameplay, which we then added to the running wish list that we had already from the community. After compiling all the feedback, we came away with a great list of items that we know the community wanted to see improved. Long passes down court, sailing out of bounds. Please, bro. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Besides, um, break started stuff. I, 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 I don't know, bro. I, I like the break starter, but I don't like when an inbounder can just throw it full court and it never goes out of bounds. Hopefully, y'all don't break the break starter stuff. And came up with skill based solutions that would be more fun and fair for everyone. We've always prided ourselves as being the most authentic basketball simulation on the market, the only. And that will never change. Oh God, it won't. <laughs> but one of the challenges that we face is striking the right balance between simulating real life and making a game that's fun and enjoyable for a wide range of fans. I think if we make it as fun as possible, it's gonna have, you know, real life aspects in it, you know? Uh, I don't know, that. that's just me. That's where the debate on skill gap versus accessibility comes into play. I think actually, bro, I think they try to limit the skill gap and they think that's enforcing realism when actually it's it's deforcing realism. That's the real problem. The target we shoot for is to create a game that's easy to pick up and play for new users. <laughs> Leaked casual gameplay <laughs> every year. They keep doing it <laughs> while also providing enough of a skill gap for veteran users to really showcase their talent. One way we set out to accomplish this was through building out a robust set of sliders. Man, he he had those screenshots all, all everywhere. Anywho, man, y'all make sure y'all go watch my last video about the female my players and 2K being $70 and you know 2K devs, the conference call, all that stuff, man. I, I had a lot to stuff to say in that video make sure y'all go like it make sure y'all subscribe if you new. hit that like button turn on post notes follow me on all my social media let me know how y'all feel about all this and make sure y'all go to the gym seven days a week drink a gallon of water a day don't sit on this i love y'all appreciate the support adios man